Okay, so I uh, previously I was talking about um, how to prep your line art for the object rendering, and this time I wanted to do the same thing with one of your layouts. Uh, in this case, what I did, although the scanner I have here at home is actually big enough to scan an entire layout in one go, I purposefully broke this into two sections and they're both heavily rotated because I just threw them on the glass because uh, I know that with most people they have a smaller scanner at home or in the classroom so you may not have a plate that's big enough to just do it in one go so what I wanted to do is show you how to put these two together seamlessly without having to rotate it by hand how to prep your line art how to make it all look really crisp and clean and ready to uh, to be rendered so I've got these two separate images I've just titled them part one and part two make sure they're both scanned high resolution the exact same um, and then I'm going to show you a really great feature in Photoshop so if you go to here under file automate photo merge in this case we can use auto I'm just going to use go to the folder that has those two halves in it or however many pieces you can do far more than than two if you have a very large image you're trying to scan even something like your life drawing if you wanted to scan it in four five six sections so I'll grab part one and part two put them here in photo merge and then just hit OK stand back and let the algorithm do its work bam so that's uh, now a nice seamless fixed scan now the rotations wrong on this of course but that's also very easy to fix I showed you the trick for this last time but I will go through it again all you need to do is zoom in here grab the ruler tool which is underneath the eyedropper I'm going to trace something that is supposed to be vertical 90 degrees vertical let it go then go under image image rotation arbitrary and that'll automatically fill in with the value that will take that angled line to 90 degrees just like that we've got a straight um, image now ready to go so I can crop this and I've got a nice clean finished merge scan that I can get adjusted and ready for uh, rendering. Now the lines are still, I mean the gray, um, you know, the paper white is gray and the lines are not uh, black enough. So again, I'm gonna use the same trick I did last time. Zoom in nice and close, grab image adjustments levels, click this here, click on with the black uh, eyedropper, something that I want to be dark click on the white eyedropper the white of the paper I have to click a few different ones to get the one you want maybe even a little bit more there we go so what you can see is it's washed out uh, without losing any of the fidelity of the lines nice and crisp and clean this already is a pretty cleanly uh, you know cleaned up layout so it works quite well but if you need to do any touch-ups like this area here it looks like one of the pencil lines got erased and redone I'm going to show you a really quick way to clean that up without having to go in with a brush and perfectly match the contour so all you need to do is go into uh, this tool right here it's the burn or dodge tool we want to use dodge as the setting make sure that it is set on highlights and turn the exposure up pretty high I'd say 30 40 potentially even 50 like I have here and it's a big soft brush and what you'll notice is um, dodging is a thing from photographing and what you're doing is you're exposing this area to light but it won't get rid of the bottom end because it's set to highlights it will only get rid of stuff that's in the uh, in the mid or top range so when I click on it notice it just gets rid of all that stuff if I put it in grayscale mode it's even more powerful it'll just get rid of any of these grays so this you know gray area here I just want the clean lines just run that dodge tool over top and it'll tidy it up pretty well same kind of thing here I can still go in with a brush and and touch up some of this but three or four little clicks and a lot of the little gray smudges or 
you know, fingerprints, those kinds of things that um, tend to show up on your on your layout scans or any of your, you know, hand-drawn stuff. You can just run the dodge tool over top and it will almost magically just get rid of those fuzzy bits or gray parts very quickly. So what I do is I stay zoomed in and I'm just using the space bar to scroll around uh, at this zoomed in distance running the dodge tool over top of the areas where um, I want to do those little you know sort of gray area touch-ups and then if I alternate between that and the brush tool so for actual fingerprint stuff like a black mark like that it's not going to work because it's the same color as the line art but what I can do is just that's where I take an actual you know white brush and go into it so if I alternate between the dodge tool and the brush just quickly going over the image, touching up any of these little areas that I notice, dots that aren't supposed to be there, or little gray sections that I don't want in the final image, I can very quickly uh, set this stuff up. So there's three or four little dots here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, great. And um, as with everything, you'll practice it, you'll get faster at it, and you'll get really good at prepping your line work and tidying up your scans so that they look crisp and they look professional. They'll be great for either um, putting on your social media or your portfolio and your website. You'll have them all in place, looking as high quality as possible. And um, that's really kind of the point, of course. Pull back and you can see nice, sharp looking line work. Save the file and you're good to go.